Hello, I'm Catherine and welcome to my channel or welcome back if this is a return visit. So today we are doing a full first impressions review of a new collaboration with e.l.f. Cosmetics. So e.l.f. recently put out and it's a limited edition collaboration with the hairdresser Jen Atkins. If you're not familiar with Jen, she um, has a book out that she, and I can't remember the name of it, but I follow her on Instagram. She's very entertaining and she created the brand Way, which is spelled O-U-A-I. And I really like a lot of those hair products. Now, to be honest, I'm not quite sure how this turned into a collaboration with Elf Cosmetics, but okay, we're gonna, we're gonna see what this is all about. So literally I have these in the packaging still. When I first saw the pieces, the first piece that really drew my attention was this face palette. So we're gonna be talking about that. There's also a brow pomade that's also doubles for little baby flyaway hairs, which does sort of make sense with her brand. There is an eyeliner pencil, which I got. There is a lip duo with a lip liner on one end and lipstick on the other. And there is a setting spray or setting mist. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. We're gonna first start talking about this palette. I'm gonna tell you a little bit about it. There, they did come out with two different shades in this palette. There is the light to medium, which is what I have. So the packaging is really very nice. It's plastic. There is also a medium to deep palette. So let me open this up. Oh, it's really very pretty. So here is the palette where you get a bronzer, a blush, and a highlighter, all very nice. And then you get four eyeshadow shades. And it looks like all four are matte. Looks like all four are matte, which is kind of interesting. Um, this retails for $14, great price. If this is a great travel palette, this could be a really great thing to pick up. This is an all-in-one face and eye palette and it's supposed to recreate Jen Atkins chic makeup look. Um, has a, the Lux powder formula, a complete range of universally flattering matte and shimmer shades. Okay, I'm not seeing well, we'll see. I know the highlight is a shimmer. Um, okay, let's let's keep going here. It includes four eyeshadows, one bronzer, one blush, and one highlighter. So that is the face palette. I already have foundation, concealer, and powder. I've already powdered my face. So we're gonna go right into this. I will say I'm always a little skeptical about these face palettes. The drugstore never seems to do a face palette very well. Recently, I did a review of the Milani face palette that's supposed to be a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury instant face look, and I was incredibly disappointed. Some people really liked it. I was incredibly disappointed in the quality, so I'm really hopeful because these face palettes are such wonderful products to have when you're traveling or just to throw in your bag if you're on the go, to work, to the gym, whatever. And really traditionally, the, the drugstore hasn't done it very well. So I'm excited to see if this is gonna be a good one. I will say there's quite a heft to this product, which is nice. Okay, so we're gonna go into the bronzer. I'm just using a basic bronzer brush. And we're gonna see if the to how the tone is. Ooh, I like that. One of my biggest problems with that Milani palette was the bronzer. This is definitely warm toned, but it is not crazy warm toned. It has a nice undertone to it too. And I will say the powder is very, it's melting into my skin. It's very nice. Well, I'm very impressed with the bronzer, and I will say I think that's one of the harder parts of these face palettes, is getting the bronzer down. I feel like blush, you can figure out how to make that work, but bronzer is really difficult if you don't have the right tone or the right formula of the powder. But this is very, very nice. I like this a lot. I think it's a very pretty shade. It's warmed up my face. It's not too much, not too little. It's kind of right there in between. 
and the quality of the powder is very nice. It's just, you can see, blending really nicely. Okay, so, so far so good. All right, the next shade is the blush, and I think this blush just looks gorgeous. It's that peachy pink color that I just love this time of year in particular. And I'm just gonna go in, I have no idea how pigmented this is, so we're just gonna try it out. Oh, that's really pretty. Oh, I like that a lot. It's kind of medium pigmentation, which is good. I, that's kind of where, medium pigmentation is kind of what I like. Because you can really work with it. Okay, very, very nice. I like that a lot. Now let's go into the highlight. To me, the highlight is the other place where we could have an issue. Um, it is pretty goldish, but sort of champagne. So hopefully it will be the right tone. And we will, ooh, yeah. It's a little gold, definitely gold. But still looks fine, I think, on my skin tone. It's not super subtle, but it's very pretty. Oh, I like that. So far, so good. I'm excited. Okay, good. This is very fun. This is a great palette. Wow. I was very hesitant about the bronzer and the highlight, and both of those are great. And the blush, I'm really loving. It's such a nice shade. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and swatch these eye colors, because I'm very curious. Okay, so I swatched all four of the eye colors. You can see this one down here is just very light. Um, they are all matte shades, so you could you can just use the highlight if you wanted to add any type of shimmer or if you wanted to go with more of an all matte look. And it's basically a few variations on brown. This one is a, the warmest tone right here. It's more of a rusty brown. And this one is just more of a traditional brown. And then of course this was a good one if you wanted to line or do any kind of deepness in there. Okay, so let's play with these a little bit. All right, I'm gonna start off just going into that first shade. I'm gonna take that first shade all over the lid. It's very light, but it's nice to have this shade for when you have any, if you make any mistakes and to help diffuse the other shadows. So that's really nice, just very light and easy. Okay, I think I'm gonna go into the, the instead of the warmest shade, I'm gonna go into the next shade over. That brown, that undertone of that shade looks a little bit more my speed. We're gonna see how pigmented this is. Oh, it's just right, I think. The other one was just very, very rusty colored and I could use that, but I'm really liking the tone of this one. It's more of a neutral undertone brown. Really pretty. I like the, um, these are blending really nicely. So far, so good. I am gonna go into the rusty color. So I went into this deeper brown. I'm now gonna go back and just put a little bit of that warmer color just through the crease and a little bit above, just to kind of give a little bit of, kind of that sunset effect a little bit. And that's really nice. That to me is the perfect amount for me of that type of a color. I'm gonna go back into my, that original shade and go around on the brow bone and just kind of diffuse everything we just did. And that's really a pretty matte eye look. Just to give you something else you could do with this palette, I am gonna go ahead and go into the highlight and put that all over the lid. That is the only shimmer and it is light. It's very pretty on the lid. Ooh, that's really pretty. Not too much, not foiled, very natural and kind of blending in with those matte brown shades. Really pretty, okay, very good, wow. I like this palette. 
This is nice. I really like it. I think it's a great palette. And I am impressed with the heft of this. I don't know why I thought it was going to feel a lot less than that. This is nice. Okay, so let's now go into the eye pencil. So this is just a traditional pencil that you sharpen. And I got the um, shade Brown to Earth. It's just a brown shade. So I'm going to go ahead and lightly line with this. It's not tugging, which is nice, and it is pigmented. I like the feel of this pencil. I mean, it feels like just a regular, almost like a school pencil. And it's very easy the way it is shaped to hold it in place. You can kind of turn it on its side. You can turn it on its side to smudge it a little bit more. That's really nice. Wow, so far we are hitting it out of the park here. This is great. I'm gonna go back into the palette. Just, I don't know that I'd normally do this, but it, I wanted to show you that I could go into the palette with just a smudger brush. And I'm gonna go into this deepest brown shade at the top. And I'm just going to lightly go over the pencil with that shade and just soften it. And also that should give it more, should set it and keep it in place a little longer. You could just use that brown shadow and not, you don't need the eyeliner, but that's always a nice little step to do that. Okay, on to the brow gel. I just filled in my brows with a different brow pencil, but now we're gonna use this brow gel, and this is a hair and brow pomade in a clear coat. So we're gonna try this out. It's a different kind of a brush. I'll show you what the brush looks like. See from the side? It's kind of um, like a bristled brush. It feels pretty nice going in. It's easy to use. The right amount of product came out. Hmm, this is pretty good. Now it's also supposed to work on little baby hairs. If you have like little baby hairs and I don't have my hair done right now, so it's hard to tell, but that that's very nice. This clear brow pomade. It feels very nice. We'll see how well it holds, but so far we're really doing well. I hope the lip product's good too. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera and just put on some mascara, curl my lashes, put on some mascara, and we'll come back and do the lips and the setting spray. Okay, so now let's talk about the lip product and the setting spray. So this lip product is their Extra Lip Duo, and I got the shade Self Made Pink. There were three shades in this lip product. And I don't know why, at least I don't know of any other company that's done this, but it has a lip liner on one end and then the lipstick on the other. I mean, I think that's kind of genius. So I'm gonna go ahead and swatch. This is the liner. It's a pink shade for sure. And then the lipstick, I'll put right next to it. It's a definite pink. Should be nice. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and line with this side. Very fine tipped point on this liner. Creamy, easy to use. I like the tone of this. It's very creamy. I mean, you could easily just line with this shade, but we're gonna use the lipstick. So now we're gonna put the lipstick on. Okay, good. I was worried it was gonna be dry. It's creamy. I 
the right amount of pigment for me in this kind of a shade, but this is a really pretty color. It's not, it's pink, but it's not so pink. It's really nice. It is definitely an in-between, a little bit, a little bit more warmth than this pink, but really pretty. Wow, I like that a lot. I think I will use that a lot this spring. The last product is the Setting Mist, and it is called Mist Me, which is cute. Okay, so it's all about the mister. Let me go ahead and demonstrate. Ooh, that looks good. It's a fine mist. I'm excited. Oh, yeah. Very nice. Don't even need the fan. Wow. Love the mist on that. It has kind of a, a coconut smell. Very cooling on your skin. This would be a great refresher like throughout the day. Really nice. Wow. I'm going to come back and give you my thoughts on all of the products. Let me give you my first impression reviews of these products from the e.l.f. Jen Atkins collaboration. First off, the face palette. I I will tell you, I had very low expectations for all of this. It looked very interesting to me, obviously enough so for me to buy it and want to try it out, but I never do very well with face palettes in particular from the drugstore. This face palette is beautiful. Everything performed well. The bronzer was great. Love the blush. Highlighter was great. Just enough of a highlight. Perfect. This would be perfect for over 40 skin. Very, very pretty. And the eye look, I love these matte colors. These are beautiful. They perform very well. They're not overly pigmented. They're easy to blend and you get a very subtle, natural look. I'm very impressed with this palette. Um, I would love to do some looks maybe with the browns and then add the blush in. I use the highlight on the eyes. It's just the perfect little subtle shimmer. Very, very impressed with this. This is feels very sturdy and secure this plastic i love it it's I'm, I'm very very impressed the next product we used was the eyeliner this was incredible too i mean really really nice easy to use i've never used a good eyeliner from elf and this one is really nice i really liked the feel of this pencil it made it much easier to apply on the eye very impressed. I love this shade too, this brown to earth. It's a deeper brown with a little smokiness to it. It complements these matte shadows in a wonderful way. I, I'm very impressed with this pencil. The next product was this brow gel and it, it feels really nice on. It went through my brows easily. I liked the, the little brush on the end, made it very easy to use as well. And um, I guess I could try on a, if I have any flyaway hairs, just kind of, you could just stick it right there. It's like a little pomade. Interesting. But so far, so good. I really think this is nice. And it did a nice job with my, with my brows. I mean, it's my, they aren't like towards the ceiling, but I, it's just perfect for what I use a brow pomade for. Next product was the lip product. I love this. So comfortable on the lips. I love the shade of this pink. I may have to go ahead and get the other two shades because this is really nice. And I love having the dual duty. I know there's a red shade and there is a brown shade. I love this pink. If you like a good pink, a little bit of warmth to it, very, very pretty. You will love this shade. I'm very impressed with this. And lastly was the setting spray. I mean, again, look at that wonderful mist, that, that very fine mist. I can just apply it and not have particles all over my face. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful setting spray. Maybe one of the best setting sprays I found in a long time, definitely from the drugstore. So, okay, this was a winner. I am incredibly surprised. I really did not think that all of these were gonna be winners, but I am really, really impressed. This is limited edition. So if you are interested in this, go ahead and pick it up now. Everything in this collection too is so affordable. The pomade is $6. The palette, like I said before, is $14. The eye pencil is $5. 
The lipstick is $8, and I'd know that if you get all three of the lipsticks, it's $20 for all three. And the setting mist is $8. You cannot lose with these. I am so excited to use these some more. I love this natural look. I love the pink lip. Very impressed. Excellent job, Jen Atkins. All right, Jen, you obviously have a knack for makeup, so let's do some more collaborations. This was incredibly impressive. That is all I have for you today. I hope this first impression review was fun for you. It was really entertaining for me and quite a surprise. I would love to have you here on a regular basis, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Give this video a like if you love this kind of content and want me to continue to do more reviews of products that are out there in the marketplace. And if you are looking for more day-to-day -day content, come join me over on Instagram. I do a weekly get ready with me and I love sharing with you about sales and new things that are happening in the beauty world. Hope you guys are having a great week and I hope to see you in my next video.